Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about the reference angle. Last time, we have uploaded the video wherein yung series natin is all about trigonometry. Tapos, in-upload natin yung kung paano mag-convert ng angles in, in radian measure to degree measure and vice versa. And also, nagkaroon tayo ng follow-up session wherein we discuss angles in standard position and co-terminal angles. And kung gusto mo panoorin yung mga videos natin about those topics, ilalagay ko yung link sa ating description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So meron tayo rin ngayon ditong reference angle. Pag sinabi natin yung reference angle, it is an angle formed by the terminal side of an angle in standard position and the horizontal axis o yung tinatawag natin x-axis. Now, for you to understand well what is a reference angle, meron ako itong different angles. Oh, by the way guys, uh, we will be using the symbol the theta or theta na merong uh, quit sa ibabaw tapos yung mismong theta lang natin will represent the original angle. And again, this symbol will represent your reference angle during this session. Now, I have here four different um, possibilities wherein, kung mapansin nyo, yung terminal side ng ating angle in standard, standard position is on the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. So let's start with the first quadrant. Dito, pag sinabi natin uh, your given angle is in the first quadrant at yung kanyang terminal side and it's the first quadrant, di ba sabi natin sa definition natin? Reference angle is an angle formed by the terminal side of an angle and the horizontal axis or your x-axis. Dito, if the terminal side of your angle, of your given angle, is in quadrant number 1, automatic, this one is also your reference angle. That is for quadrant number 1. And sir, what if, sir, you and the, um, the terminal side of my given angle is in quadrant number 2. So, meron tayo dito ng quadrant number 2. This is the terminal side. And as you can see, um, ito yung terminal side mo, tapos ito yung horizontal axis mo or yung x-axis mo. Here, if the terminal side ay nasa quadrant number 2, this will be your reference angle. Ito yung maging reference angle mo, itong angle na to. Next, sir, how about kapag ano, nasa third quadrant naman po, yung ating terminal side. As you can see, this is your given angle theta. And as per our definition, ito yung magiging reference angle mo. It is the angle formed between the terminal side and the horizontal axis. Next, for quadrant number 4, the given angle here, yung kanyang terminal side, is on quadrant number 4. Ngayon, what is our reference angle? Since ito yung terminal side, ang mangyayari lang guys, this is the angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. Therefore, this is your reference angle. Now, sir, uh, medyo nalito pa rin po kami, pero nakagets na po namin yung, ano, yung concept about reference angle. Pero paano po natin makukuha or makakalculate yung value ng reference angle given the terminal side kapag nasa quadrant number 1, quadrant number 2, 3, or 4? Meron tayo itong gagawin sa mali. For quadrant number 1, this will be your formula. Your reference angle is equal to the original angle for the quadrant number 1. For quadrant number 2, this is our formula. Reference angle is equal to 180 minus your theta or the given angle. And for quadrant number 3, we have here your reference angle is equal to the given angle theta minus 180 degrees. And for the reference angle, 
If yung inyong terminal side ay nasa fourth quadrant, your reference angle is equal to this one. 360 degrees minus, this is your reference angle minus your given angle theta. Ngayon, para ma-apply natin yung formula at yung knowledge about the first part of our discussion, let's have here an activity. Yung mga examples tayo dito. Sabi dito, find the reference angle. So we have here six different items. Wherein, I hope na makover nito yung mga uh, possible na nabasa niyo yung lectures. We have here in item number one. As you can see, we are given your angle here is 60. This is your theta. And we are asked to find the reference angle. As per our formula, sabi nito, if the terminal side of your reference and of your angle ay nasa first quadrant, di ba sabi, reference angle is equal to the given angle. Ibig sabihin yan, guys, your reference angle here, no need to compute na, is equal to 60 degrees. Ito yung giging sagot natin for item number 1. Okay? I hope na naging clear yung number 1 natin. Now, let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we are given positive or 130 degrees as your angle. Now, yung terminal side niya, as you can see, ay nasa second quadrant. So, we will be using the formula. Reference angle is equal to 180 degrees minus theta. So, again, this is our formula. Reference angle is equal to 180 degrees minus your theta. And your theta here is equal to 130 degrees. So, substituting the value of your theta, this will become... Reference angle is equal to 180 degrees minus 130 degrees. Ibig sabihin nito guys, your reference angle is equal to 50 degrees. So, nasan po yun? For your reference angle, ito siya. This angle. And this is 50 degrees. Now, let's move on with item number 3. For number 3, medyo lagpas tayo ng revolution. We are given... An angle which measures um, 640 degrees. This is your theta. So, the definition natin, we have negative, uh, sorry, theta is equal to 360 minus um, theta. Pero, kung mapansin nyo, di ba, like, pasin nyo sa size ng revolution. Ang gabihin ko dito, di ba, ang two revolutions ay 720. Tama? So, nagpas tayo ng one revolution. So, ang mangyayari nito, mag-subtract muna tayo ng 360 degrees from 640. And we know that 640 degrees minus 360 degrees, again, this is your one full revolution. This will give you the answer of 280 degrees. Okay? So, ito ngayon yung gagamitin natin to represent your theta. And using this formula, you have reference angle is equal to reference angle is equal to 360 degrees minus theta. And again, your theta will be 280 degrees. So this is 360 degrees minus 280 degrees. So your reference angle for item number 3 is simply yan to. 80 degrees. Ito yung reference angle natin. Ibig sabihin, the measure of this angle is 80 degrees. Ah, by the way guys, another thing lang about the reference angle, hindi siya nagiging negative. Always positive ang magiging sagot natin for the reference angle. Now, let's move on with item number 4. For number 4, 5, and 6, wala na tayo na yung a partition plane. Pero, dapat mas mabilis kayo dito mag-isip kung saan maglalay yung mismong terminal side ng angle na meron tayo in standard position. In number 4, we are given 210 degrees. So, sir, paano ba namin mas mabilis na malalaman if the terminal angle lies on the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, or 4th quadrant? Guys, ano, ito lang, tandaan nito. Uh, we have here the Cartesian plane. This is 0, 360 degrees kapag so positive. And this is 90. So, this is 180 and this is 270. 
So, mabilis lang tayo para magamit na dito. So, this is 210, di ba? So, dito, kapag ginawa nyo yung ganito, from 0, naging 90, 180, and then 210. Di ba? Lagpa siya ng uh, second quadrant. Ibig sabihin, nasa third quadrant siya. Now, since nasa third quadrant siya, we will be using this formula. Reference angle is equal to your given theta minus 180 degrees. Okay? So, simple lang yan. That is 210 degrees minus 180 degrees. And your reference angle for item number 4 is 30 degrees. Ganun lang siya kasi simple, guys. Hindi siya hassle na si solve. Yung iba nga, ano, they're not using the formula. Ang ginagawa nila, mental calculation lang. Tapos they are imagining, uh, ay, itong angle na to ay between uh, the negative x-axis at saka yung terminal side. So, alam na, ganda lang yung gagawin nila. Ina-imagine lang nila. So, ano on. Next, number 5. For number 5, we are given negative 210. So, paano po yung negative na? Remember, kapag positive ang yung angle, uh, the revolution is counterclockwise. And if your angle is negative, yung revolution mo ngayon ay, again, ha, kapag positive, counterclockwise, kapag negative, clockwise direction. So, mag-iiba ka ngayon. Huwag mo isipin na, ay, sa third quadrant ko, hindi. So, gabi mo yun dito, simula ka dito, 0, negative 90, negative 180, this is negative 110. Nasa second quadrant siya. Okay, madidisive dito. Nagyan siya, nasa second quadrant. So, we have, the formula for the second quadrant, we have theta, ah, reference angle is equal to 180 degrees minus your given angle theta. Now, substituting the value of your theta, this will give us 180 degrees minus your theta, which is negative 210. So this is 210. So we will have theta is equal to negative 30 degrees. Pero, uh, di ba sabi ko sa inyo lagi siyang positive? So, ang sagot natin dito ay 30 degrees na lang. Okay? So, ngayon guys, uh, as for your assignment, para hindi lang ako lagi nagsasagot ng ating ginagawa, I want you to answer item number 6 for your assignment para makita natin if you can apply your knowledge about this video. And I hope na makita ko sa ating comment section. So, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goyne. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye! -bye.